Firstly, I just want to say it's my first time um, being in person. It's been 10 years I've been following Aram Hicks. Um, why I'm here is, uh, and I'm why I manifested this seat is, I'm looking for the next level. Um, it's been a while that, I've, of course, I've been following the, the teaching. I've, I've created many things out of this teaching. Uh, the main one was my relationship that um, I, before the practice, I was like, it's not possible to create what I want, but I did it. Um, I'm in love. Uh, it's been the relationship for over 18 years, and uh, um, we both created it together, actually. Yeah. Right now, I'm in a spot that I feel like um, I am in stuck in the matrix, uh, and I'm looking for the next level of like I feel like I'm running around. And we just found like, it today. We haven't had this discussion before as a group. In other words, you all moved into a new place of understanding that almost nobody gets in the way you just understood it. And it is so simple that it doesn't feel like it could possibly be the next level. But it goes like this. You're emanating a vibration that is being responded to and everything that happens is because of that. Wow. Doesn't that blow your mind when you think that I can adjust my focus and practice an emitting that will get me anything and everything I want in a changing dynamic movement through life where what I want changes exactly it's invincibility it's eternalness it doesn't get more leading edge than that more next step than that I would say my my thing is just like um why yeah. am I here? <laughs> well, uh, before you go there. Like in this, like, what's the purpose that I came for? That's, that's why I'm... For the exhilaration of mastering, being able to explore an environment and select from it things of interest. And then to have the wisdom to focus upon those things of interest until the momentum of them increases enough to really get your juices flowing. And then to be able to masterfully manage all aspects of that into your experience for more awareness, more expansion and more pleasure. When you think of what creativity is and often when humans think of creativity, or creators that surround them they think of musicians or artists things of that nature and so just imagine the sculptor or the painter or the musician exploring into the next level of expertise and feeling the satisfaction of it only to now stand in a new place with a new set of desires and it expanding further and further and further and further and the only reason that questions like why am I here and what's it all about even surface in humans is because you think it's something about comparing yourself to others and there just doesn't seem to be enough reason but if you can find the self-interest in you that your inner being knows and holds and you can experience the satisfaction of feeling things just clicking into place and clicking into place and clicking into place it's like everything is at your fingertips everything is available to you but you can't comprehend it all at once you can only comprehend what you can comprehend and so it's like a never-ending series of here I stand and that looks good Ooh, I do like it boom here I stand and that looks good Ooh, I do like that now humans play the game more like this and by game we mean life here I stand and that looks good but I don't think I can have that and that feels bad but I really want it but I don't think I can do it and that feels bad those people are doing it and that seems wrong and that feels bad but I really want it and I want it for this reason and this reason and I like this aspect of it and this aspect of it and now I have it and that feels good oh that looks good and what looked good before I was able to do so even though I can't comprehend this yet I did do that so maybe maybe that feels better than no what you're reaching for first is your sense of your own invincibility but first has to come your own sense of deservability so once you let the universe 
demonstrate to you your worthiness that's what Jerry's love for Esther did he demonstrated her worthiness to her she would say to him how did I get so lucky well, it wasn't luck but he exposed her to a feeling about herself that she had never had before and so that's what life is continually doing for you it's exposing you to new awarenesses so first comes deservability and it takes a little while especially if you've been practicing unworthiness then that feeling of invincibility begins to come and then that's when it really gets good a lot of you are already there that's when you really start making decisions about why you're here you get to do that you might say I could have all the money that I would ever want but there's something stuck in your vibrational craw about that because you heard that there were rich people that were rotten and so you don't want to be part of that but then you discover that you can't get poor enough to help poor people be prosperous and that your prosperity does give you an opportunity to uplift in some ways you just have to make peace with your own constant expansion and evolution and once you get the hang of that where you begin to feel that I can be or do or have anything you're there that's what these questions are about why am I here so we'll just give you the reasons that you had if you had enough time it'd take a long time you could find this in your astrological chart <laughs> but we're just going to give it to you because it's active right now you said I'm gonna go figure it out and I'm gonna love the demonstration of living life the way I intended when I decided to be born into this physical time and space and I'm going to attract opportunities to help others discover the same deliciousness because there is nothing fun about just stumbling in to something and not knowing how it happened and there's everything delicious about wondering about it contemplating it trying this trying that and getting a system that is duplicatable repeatable and duplicatable and then you step into that new thing that you're looking for this is exactly what it is defining who I am and what I want to be who I am and what I want to be and Esther is just really articulating that easily these days since we've been talking about the marbles and things like that I want to do for everyone I meet what Jerry did for me I want to have the best aspects of everybody activated in me so that it's less likely for them to miss how wonderful they are because I've already defined enough of it and I've got it vibrating out here and the path of list resistance is presenting it to them a little more actively and maybe maybe they're gonna step into that and feel it maybe they're gonna step into that and feel it maybe they won't but how fun is it to give it a go and 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 give it a go yeah if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next